Hello, and welcome to episode two of buying a book of every single color. If you haven't seen my last video where I did this, basically it's pretty self-explanatory. I went book shopping and every single book I bought, I bought a cover that was a different color. In that video, I bought five books of five different colors, but there's way more than five colors in the world. So I thought it'd be fun to do a part two to finish off the rainbow from the first video that I did. Just as a little recap, in that video, I bought Caraval, which was a special edition that was all red. So that was my red color for that video. Then I bought Mixed Signals by BK Boris which was orange. Thirdly, I bought Some Shall Break, which was pink. And then I bought The Nanny for blue. And then I also got Flawless by Elsie Silver, which I counted as purple. It's not exactly purple. So to finish my rainbow, I definitely want to buy a yellow book, a green book, maybe another purple book, just one that's like more true to purple. And then I don't know, it would be fun to buy like four or five books in this video. So for like a fourth or fifth color, I could do white or black. I don't know if that's too boring. Or I could also repeat a color, but just do a different shade. And after I go book shopping, I'll go home and tell you guys all the books that I got but I also want to get out the books that I got from episode one and like line them all up together so we'll have like 10 books of the full rainbow I think that's gonna be so cute to see all together okay I'm sitting outside of Barnes and Noble and for books I want to buy I'm interested in buying some Christmas romances it's just barely the end of October but I think it's time to start stocking up on Christmas books I definitely want to read a ton of holiday romances or at least books set in winter to get into the wintry mood I also really want to get the seven-year slip I've been hearing some good things about it and I checked and they have it in stock so hopefully I can for sure get it the main reason I want to get it is because this is the current book that we're reading in my fable book club so if you want to come join my book club come hang out I'll have the link down below it's super fun we can all just chat in there about the book we're reading we vote on a new book to read every single month the last book that I bought and read within fable is wildfire by Hannah Grace it was not part of my main book club Alexa Ray and I actually made a private book club just to read wildfire together because we both realized that we were reading it at the same time and I thought that was so such a cute idea before me and Alexa did that I never thought of making a like really small book club just to buddy read books with your friends or family and fable is actually the sponsor of today's video I've been using them for about a year now for my own book club and yeah it was just so much fun buddy reading wildfire with Alexa if you guys for some reason aren't familiar with Alexa Ray she's another fellow booktuber she makes amazing videos and she's also posting a video talking about her experience buddy reading wildfire with me on fable so I'll have her video linked down below so you guys can check hers out as well but I love that in the Fable app, you have chat rooms per chapter, so you have no fear that you're ever gonna get any spoilers. There's also a club lobby where you can chat about anything you want, bookish or not. And your club can set chapter milestones, so you can all read on the same schedule, or you can just ignore those milestones if you want and read at your own pace. And then at the end, you can leave your review of the book. And Fable also has a really, really cool interactive e-reader. You and your friends don't have to buy the book through the app, but if you choose to, you can see each other's highlights, comments, and add emoji reactions as you're reading in real time. And Fable has a ton of other really cool features that I definitely recommend you guys check out on the app. They have a list making tool and they have a for you feed and you can download the Fable app using my link. I'll have it linked down in the description. And once you're in the app, you can press the little blue plus icon to create your own little buddy reading book club. And then from there, you just invite your friends to join. And for each friend that joins, you'll both get $5 credit within the Fable app to purchase eBooks, which is just a fantastic way to get your club's book for free. So thank you so much to Fable for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's Let's go into Barnes and Noble. Just the table I was looking for. The way my brain is torn between Christmas and still reading Halloween books. I love the cover of this Christmas book and it has this single parent trope, which I've come to really love. It also sounds like it might be Grumpy Sunshine because she loves Christmas, but he is super guarded. This title is so intriguing. Any title with book in the title has me hooked. It takes place in this cozy inn and it sounds like female friendships is a really big focus of this book. I've never read a Sophie Lark book before, but I've heard great things about her books. Brutal Prince is a mafia romance, enemies to lovers, and marriage of convenience. Like Say Less, sounds like a perfect book for me. The hard part of this challenge is there's so many books of the same color that I wanna buy. There's so many like reddish pink romance books, but I can only pick one. Also finding a green book is kind of hard. I really want to read Magnolia Parks, but I kind of feel like I need to be on a starting new series band because I'm in the middle of so many series right now. I always have to check what Lucy's score books my Barnes has, particularly Rock Bottom Girl I've had my eye on, but the cover isn't really focused on one color, so unfortunately it doesn't really fit for this challenge. 
I really want to read another Lynn Painter book, specifically Mr. Wrong Number, but my Barnes only ever has better than the movies, which is a great book, would highly recommend, but I always hope that they're going to get more Lynn Painter in stock and they never do. Okay, I already own the naturals, but I own the old cover and I love the new covers so much, especially Bad Blood. So I kind of want to buy the new covers, but also it feels a little wasteful since I already own the old cover of the naturals. Four books picked out. I think I want to get one more. There's so many red covers that I want to get. Why are all of the best books red? This is the sequel to The Housemaid, which I loved. Okay, I'm out of Barnes. I got five books. I may or may not have gotten a lot of Christmas books, even though it is still October, and one ambiguously colored book, which isn't quite fitting for this challenge, but the book just sounded so good, I couldn't resist. Anyway, I'm gonna head home, and then I'll show you guys all the books I got. Okay, let's look at the books. So I got the two colors that I was missing from before, yellow and green. For yellow, I got the seven-year slip. This is the only one that I had on my list that I for sure wanted to get. This book is by Ashley Poston, or Poston, not sure how to say it. I previously read The Dead Romantic, by her and really liked that book and I've heard even more amazing things about this book. Our main character Clementine is a book publicist which is so fun. I always love books where the main characters work in the book world and I've read books where they're like authors or book editors but I don't think I've read any book where the main character is a book publicist so I'm intrigued to find out more about that job and then she moves into her late aunt's apartment and she finds a man there just standing in the kitchen and it says that he exists in the past, seven years in the past to be exact and she quite literally lives seven years in his future. Future. Her aunt always said the apartment was a pinch in time, a place where moments blended like watercolors. She also said that love is never a matter of time, but a matter of timing. So it sounds really cute. I'm curious what the focus of the book will be, if it's going to be on like explaining this seven year slip or more just their love story, or if he's trying to return to his time or what. I don't have like quite a feel for how the magic is going to work in this book, but I know romance is the main plot. Okay, then for the green book, this is the first of many Christmas books that I got. This is The Santa Suit by Mary Kay Andrews. I've heard of Mary Kay Andrews generally as an author. I haven't read any books by her, but I'm pretty sure people like her and she's like a good romance author. And this book is pretty short. It's just under 200 pages, which I think is kind of nice in a holiday book because sometimes they can be cheesy and like a little bad, but in the best way. I honestly did not even read the summary. I was just looking so hard for a green cover that I was interested in. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna get another Christmas book. This one's green. Let's do it. Okay, cute. This says our main character Ivy buys an old farmhouse sight unseen. That's like the classic Christmas movie where the main character buys like an old inn or farmhouse and moves to the small town for the first time just around the holidays. And it says that the farmhouse is a labor of love, definitely a fixer upper. And in the farmhouse, Ivy discovers an old Santa suit and in the pocket of the Santa suit is a note. It's from a little girl who has one Christmas wish for her father to return home from the war. And it says that that sends Ivy on a journey to find out more about this note. It doesn't really mention any romance. This is at the very end that she finds a second chance at love, but I'm curious if it's more of a romance subplot and the main focus is on this note or if it is like a true holiday romance. Either way, it sounds really cute. Okay, next up, I got Murder in the Family. This one is a little questionable on the color palette wise. It's kind of like a purpley red. I know last time I bought a questionable purple and this time I've also bought a questionable purple, <laughs> but I've just been wanting to read this book so bad. I saw a TikTok about it and ever since then, I've been sold. I'm like, I need to read this book. It's a murder mystery that follows a new sensational streaming series called Infamous that's dedicated to solving this murder. And what's really cool is that it's not written like a typical book. It has a mix of stuff like a newspaper and other articles, but mostly we are like inside this series. Like it has people talking, it describes the camera movements. It's basically a subtitled version of this series. But yeah, if you flip through it, there's just so many cool pages. Like here's emails, there's a picture, and it just looks like a really cool read. And people on TikTok said it's really fun to try and solve the murder before you get to the end of the book because you're literally reading kind of in real time of this series playing out of them investigating. So at the beginning, they haven't solved it. So you're like solving it with them. Oh my gosh, it is getting so dark outside. It's the afternoon, but it's about to pour. So sorry if it gets really dark. Then I got another Christmas book. I got Wreck the Halls by Tessa Bailey. I saw Tessa Bailey and Christmas and I bought. I haven't read a Tessa Bailey book in so long. So I'm so excited to get back to reading some Tessa Bailey this December. It says, Melody is the daughter of music royalty 
royalty. But her life is far from glamorous. She spends her days restoring old books and avoiding the limelight. But then a producer offers her a lot of money to reunite her mother's band on TV. And then the romance is between her and Beat Dawkins, who is the lead singer's son. And it says he's Melody's opposite. The camera loves him. He's so charming. And they were best friends, but then a legendary feud broke up the band. Wait, that's so cute. So it's a childhood friends to lovers. That's adorable. Potentially like a childhood friends to strangers to lovers because the feud that broke up the band at some point, I assume they haven't seen each other in a really long time. And it sounds like this reunion that they're filming is a Christmas reunion. And then lastly, I got another Christmas book. It's The Christmas Fix by Lucy Score. Again, I saw Lucy Score and I was like, Christmas plus Lucy Score, buy. Lucy Score is like an auto buy author for me. I just love all of the books I've read by her so much. So if I see a Lucy Score book, I don't need to read the description. I will buy it. Our male love interest is a single dad named Noah. I love the single parent trope. I think it's so cute, especially when the guy's a single parent. I just think it's so adorable when they're a really good parent to their kid. It just serves their like sweet, soft, caring, but also responsible side. And the book takes place in Mary, Connecticut, but a hurricane rolls through town and his home is basically destroyed. That is until renovation expert and reality TV star Catalina shows up with a camera crew and a budget. And I just think that's so fun. So both of these are gonna be TV show settings. And it says that he does not want her to come to town. He's not really sure about this celebrity diva capitalizing on the tragedy. So I have a feeling they're gonna be butting heads at the beginning. Potentially we've got an enemies to lovers, which is my favorite trope ever. So yeah, it just sounds really fun. The only bummer about this book is that it is the second book in a series. The first book in the series, I don't believe is a Christmas book. And they also didn't have the first book at Barnes or I would have bought both of them. I might order the first book, but I believe they can both be read as standalones. So I may also just start with this one. And then if I like it, go back and read the first book since it's not super necessary to read them in order is my understanding. But yeah, we'll see. Okay, let me get all the books that I bought last time in my first buying a book of every color video so we can line them all up for a complete rainbow. Look how cute. It's the perfect little rainbow. That's honestly so satisfying to look at. Okay, anyway, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's so fun doing really fun book shopping challenges. I have a million more written down. I do need to start buying less books because I own so many or I need to start reading faster. One of the two. So I have an excuse to buy more books. But hopefully soon I will see you guys for another fun book shopping challenge. For now, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.